Welcome to round number 13 of the Mid-East Racing Season. This week, the pro race has a massive prize pool and has a loaded field with the riders ready to take on the track. We have some fan favorites like Rui Barbosa, Jesse Ainsley, Jonathan Johnson, and more. How you feeling about the race today, man? Yeah, I feel I feel good. The track looks good. Um, this is my last race in this season, so we will see what we can we can do. You excited for the hill climb and the enduro fast section? Yeah, yeah. Up a little bit? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited, man. Heck yeah, we good luck today, man. Thank you, man. And then your local pros are still fighting for not only a championship, but also want to take on some of the national champions as well. How, how are you feeling today, man? Pretty good. There's a bunch of pros here, so I did get a good start and try to run with them. Thank you, man. Get out front and show them what's up, right? Yes, sir. What's the keys to victory today? Oh, probably going to come down to the end. If, if you're close at all, I mean, they're going to be going at, at it hard all day. There's a bunch of them, so it's going to be fast. We got all these people coming out here trying to uh, encroach on your grounds, man. It's a little bit scary, man, but I uh, guess sometimes you got to run with the big dogs, or at least try. Not to mention, we get to see a pair of industry titans and rivals in a battle that many dream to watch. Stu Baylor lining it up beside a Caleb Russell for another go at it. Twice in one season, man. What do we owe the pleasure to? Well, uh, Bjorn's offering up a bunch of money. I was going to bring my kid to race, so uh, I was like, might as well. Heck yeah, man. It's going to be fun having you out here battle with the guys again. Yeah, it should be a good, good time. The track's good. It's going to be a little slick, but... Uh, yeah, a bunch of guys showed up We were, uh, with the, the big purse, so it uh, should be a fun day. should be interesting for sure. How are you feeling today, man? Good, good. It's uh, I haven't raced here in 12 years, so it um, should be cool. The last time I raced here is the same as the last time that Caleb Russell raced here, and I haven't got to race him in a couple years, so it should be fun. Heck yeah, man. You got some unfinished business, right? Get another win on Absolutely, absolutely. Heck yeah, good luck today, man. Thanks, man. And your battle for A4 stroke is coming down to the wire. Technically, Sam Goins can lock in today with a win and some help, but Dalton James is looking to flip the script and tie things up going into the last race. Ricky Towery talks to the pros about not only the massive prize pool, but the whole shot bonus with the riders will be lined up and have to run to their bikes. As he waves the green flag, the riders storm off the line and hop onto their bikes. Tyler Palmer gets an insane start ripping the whole shot comfortably. Dude, I'd, I'd like a whole shot. I think, yeah. Good luck today, man. Thank you. Unfortunately for Stu Baylor, his bike wouldn't start. He would get off the line in the last place and have some serious ground to make up. You saw the whole shot. How do you think it's going to go, man? Uh, it's going to be good. I think uh, there'll be three or four guys at freight train until the last couple laps. I know this place is pretty hard to pass, so uh, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be good to see uh, those last few laps. I think it's really going to be key. Heck yeah, who do you think is going to take it home? Uh, I'd like to say Stu, but I don't know. These local races are different, and uh, yeah, you never know, really. Heck yeah, man. We miss having you out here. We hope you recover soon, and we know you're really the king of Mid-East, so we can't yeah, wait to have I you back. It. There were two features we wanted to see how the pro racers would handle. First was the hill climb. The first few riders roared up with minimal issue, but then as the latest rows started to come through, we would see a little bit more of the challenge than it was.
Next up was the Enduro Cross section. Yet again, the pros handled it without too much issue. Well, maybe a few issues. As the riders checked in for the first time, Tyler Palmer still had the lead, but there would be five riders within four seconds total of him. Stu Baylor would be at the back of that pack, having already made up eight positions on the first lap. Back in A, four-stroke Samuel Goins was back in third place, looking to chase down Dawson Nixon, who was leading. Dalton James, unfortunately, had a bad first lap, slipping back into ninth place, giving him a ton of ground to make up. In your B, four-stroke light class, Caleb Lane saw some early pressure from a familiar face. Drew Hoffman, who he battled with for most of last year, was right on his tail. As the race wore on, the lead pack thinned out. Rui Barbosa would lead a few laps in the middle and it would be weeded down to a top four with Caleb Russell, Jonathan Johnson, and Stu Baylor right behind him. However, as the laps ticked off, Russell and Baylor made their way up into the front. With two to go, they turned on the Jets and it quickly became a two-horse race. Going into the last lap, they were only a few seconds apart and nearly the whole time they would stay wheel to wheel. They would pop out of the woods for the last time. Stu Baylor would get the job done, beating Caleb Russell by a few bikes length. Rui Barbosa would bring it home in third place, rounding out your podium. How was it out there, man? Well, I'm wondering why Caleb retired. <laughs> How'd you do with the enduro cross section? Because uh, we heard you didn't even know about it at the start, did you? I did not know about it. And it surprised me every lap. Every lap. I was like, I don't think I ever had a good run through there. <laughs> That's good, man. Congrats. Yeah, Thank you. Back in A, four-stroke Samuel Goins would chip away at the lead, and by the third lap, he would take it over and start to pull away. In the end, he would bring home not only the victory, but he would secure the class championship as well. Caleb Lane and B4 Stroke Lights would also take home the victory in the class championship on the season two. 
And that completes our coverage of Airport. We'll see you in a few weeks for the last race of the season at Harris Bridge. As always, thank you for watching.